Welcome back. In this video, we will explore the Patriot Missile System, its fundamental components, and its operational principles, presented in a straightforward, step-by-step -step manner to help you better understand the engineering behind it, and most importantly, the unbiased pros and cons of this defense system. So don't miss a bit and stay tuned until the end. The MIM-104 Patriot is a highly advanced surface-to-air missile system used by the United States Army and several allied nations as their primary air defense system. It is renowned for its cutting-edge technology and stands as one of the most sophisticated missile systems in the world. The heart of the Patriot battery is the fire control section, consisting of several key components. These include the an MPQ-53 or 65 radar set, responsible for detecting and tracking incoming missiles. The engagement control station serves as the central hub for controlling the battery's operations. The antenna mast group supports the radar antenna, ensuring optimal signal reception. Additionally, the electric power plant provides the necessary power supply. To transport and launch the system's missiles, the M901 launching station is utilized. This versatile platform can carry up to four Pac-2 missiles. Alternatively, the M902 can accommodate 16 Pac-3 missiles. The radar set serves as the heart of the Patriot missile system. It is a cutting edge, passive electronically scanned array radar that incorporates advanced features like identification friend or foe, electronic counter countermeasure, and track via missile guidance subsystems. These technologies allow the radar to detect and track incoming threats accurately. The AN-MPQ-53 radar, which is the primary radar used in the Patriot system, has a range of up to 100 kilometers. The AN-MPQ-65 radar, which is a more advanced version of the AN-MPQ-53 radar, has a range of up to 170 kilometers. The engagement control station is a critical element of the Patriot missile system, acting as the command and control center for the entire battery. It is housed in a specially designed shelter and equipped with advanced computers, consoles, and communication systems. The ECS plays a pivotal role in executing the engagement process, making real-time decisions, and guiding Patriot missiles towards their intended targets. It establishes a robust data link network connecting the ECS, radar, and launcher units, facilitating the seamless exchange of information and commands. Within the engagement control station, operators receive target data from the radar, conduct threat assessments, generate engagement solutions, and transmit guidance commands to the launchers. The electric power plant consists of two diesel engines, each generating 150 kilowatts of power at 400 Hz and operating in a three-phase configuration. These generators are interconnected through a power distribution unit, ensuring a seamless supply of electricity. The EPP is typically mounted on a trailer or a modified M977 Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck. It is equipped with two 100 US gallon fuel tanks and a fuel distribution assembly for efficient fuel management. With a full fuel tank, each diesel engine can operate for more than 8 hours. The power generated by the electric power plant is transmitted to the radar and engagement control station using cables stored on reels alongside the generators. Additionally, the electric power plant provides power to the antenna mast group through a cable routed through the engagement control station. This is antenna mast group. The masts can be elevated up to 100 feet 11 inches above ground level. The antenna arrays within the antenna mast group are designed to emit and receive radio waves, allowing for precise radar coverage and target identification. The antenna mast group is connected to the engagement control station via cables through which it receives power and commands to perform its functions. These are the launching stations made up of three parts. This is DLT antenna which enables communication and data transfer between the launching stations, engagement control station, and radar. It facilitates real-time sharing of target data, engagement commands, and status updates, ensuring seamless coordination. This is canister inside it houses four Pac-2 missiles. And in this canister, it houses 16 Pac-3 missiles. 
Moving forward, we have electrical power unit which power the launcher. The Pac-2 missile has a range of up to 160 kilometers and can reach altitudes of up to 40 kilometers. The Pac-2 missile is also equipped with a new radar seeker that makes it more effective against low-flying targets. The latest version of the Patriot missile is the Pac-3 missile. The Pac-3 missile is a kinetic energy interceptor that can destroy incoming targets by colliding with them. The Pac-3 missile has a range of up to 50 kilometers and can reach altitudes of up to 20 kilometers. Let's look at how the system works step by step. Step 1. The Patriot system's radar continuously scans the airspace, emitting radar waves and listening for any returning signals. When a potential threat, such as an incoming missile, is detected, the radar identifies its presence. Step 2. Once the threat is detected, the radar tracks the missile's position, speed, trajectory, and other relevant information. This data is crucial for accurate targeting and interception. Step 3. The system uses advanced algorithms and techniques to determine if the detected object is a hostile missile. It compares the characteristics of the object against pre-programmed threat signatures and rules of engagement. Step 4. Based on the track data and identification, the system evaluates the level of threat posed by the incoming missile. It assesses factors such as its trajectory, speed, and potential target to determine the appropriate response. Step 5. The Engagement Control Station, the command and control center of the Patriot system, receives the information from the radar and makes real-time decisions. Operators analyze the threat data, assess the situation, and determine the best course of action. Step 6. The ECS generates an engagement solution, which involves calculating the optimal intercept point, time, and firing parameters required to neutralize the incoming missile. It determines the launch point and trajectory for the interceptor missile. Step 7. The ECS assigns an available Patriot launcher to engage the target. The selected launcher is prepared for launch, ensuring its readiness to fire the interceptor missile. Step 8. The assigned launcher initiates the launch sequence, firing the Patriot interceptor missile. The missile's solid rocket motor ignites, propelling it into the air and initiating its flight towards the target. Step 9. The interceptor missile uses its onboard guidance system, which may include radar, infrared seekers, or a combination, to track and home in on the incoming missile. It continuously adjusts its course to intercept the threat. Step 10. The interceptor missile reaches the calculated intercept point and maneuvers to collide with the hostile missile, depending on the engagement scenario. The interceptor may destroy the target through a kinetic impact or employ a proximity-fused warhead to detonate and neutralize the threat. Once the target is destroyed, the remaining missiles are destroyed by the engagement station. Let's look at some pros and cons of the Patriot missile system. Pros, the Patriot missile system is a valuable asset for air defense forces worldwide. It operates in all weather conditions and can engage multiple targets simultaneously, giving it an advantage over enemies. It can integrate with other defense systems like THAAD and fighter jets. With a proven track record in conflicts such as the Gulf War, Iraq War, and Yemeni Civil War, the Patriot system demonstrates its effectiveness in combat. Cons, while the Patriot Pac-3 is effective against short and medium-range ballistic missiles, it may face challenges against more advanced and sophisticated threats, such as hypersonic missiles. If you want to stay on top of the latest military technology, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Our mission is to bring you the most informative and entertaining content on the channel, so join us and be a part of our community today.